You know, I don't think change data capture gets enough respect. In the early days of relational databases, things like real-time backups and replication were not easy. A backup was typically a batch process that involved dumping a big file from a database and then moving it to another server, cloning it, if you will. Change data capture entered the world as a means of capturing database mutations as they occurred and shipping them to another database that was more or less a perfect copy of the first one. Anytime there was an update, an insert, or a delete, the CDC process captured it. This kept your backup fresh as changes occurred, which batch backups just couldn't do. And of course, disaster recovery was a disaster without it. And this was all really cool at the time. But like the first couple of seasons of The Clone Wars, CDC can feel a little dated these days. But like Captain Rex, whose helmet we're printing right now, it refused to die. It lived on as a workhorse piece of the enterprise data stack, quietly replicating relational databases like it was supposed to. But it went from hot new enabling technology to kind of just a normal part of life. Then Kafka happened. You see, in the world of data streaming, CDC is a bedrock technology. The fact is, we still have enterprises full of relational databases, and I defy you to envision a time when we're not going to. Those databases are highly interconnected to the new parts of the enterprise that are built on streaming, the systems built on Kafka. CDC is what makes that happen. 